come now for the ridiculous. Tonight we're delving into art appreciation, specifically focusing on the triptych, The Garden of Earthly Delights, painted by Hieronymus Bosch sometime around the year 1500, still a source of wonder centuries later, particularly for a certain college student in Oklahoma named Amelia. It's the most bizarre painting. It's so huge and there's all these little tiny details. It's kind of like a 500 year old Where's Waldo poster. So recently, Amelia was up late at night looking at the intricate triptych with some friends, as college kids are wont to do, when she noticed something, a small detail that stood out to her. It was one in the morning, we were bored, and we saw the dude's butt with music on it. I was like, I'm going to transcribe it, guys. <laughs> That's right, being a cheeky college student and a music major, that Amelia didn't just sit on the information, she got to the bottom of it, transcribed the music, and thus apparently became the first person ever to do so. I did it as a joke and I just, I put it on my blog and apparently it was historically significant. So what does 500 year old butt music sound like you ask? Well, Amelia played it on the piano, even though she also plays tuba, which I believe is the preferred instrument for butt music. Anyway, here it is. Exactly catchy. It could use some percussion, I think, maybe a little backbeat. But in defense of the song, there were some limitations to Amelia's transcription from a music theory point of view. There wasn't actually a clef listed on the painting, but most Gregorian chant that I've seen has had it at a C clef. The first thing I thought was, this is a really bad Gregorian chant. <laughs> I like Amelia. I like her a lot. Sure enough, someone online called Well Manicured Man turned it into a Gregorian chant. All right, so now you know. For the record, Amelia never expected that this would be her magnum opus at 20 years old. It's not on earth what I expected <laughs> to ever be famous for if I was ever to be famous at all. <laughs> Well done, Amelia. Well done, indeed. 